Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video for you. It is all about my foundation routine and how exactly I put it on so that you guys can get into wearing foundation. It's not that scary as it seems when you go to the store, but I'm gonna simplify it and make it quite easy for you guys. So if you're really keen on watching this video, stay tuned. So first of all, let me take these off so that I can apply my makeup. I have everything here in front of me. This is quite a basic foundation routine. It's what I do every single day when I put makeup on. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna start off with is of course a primer. It is good to have a primer because then it sets a lovely base for your foundation to stick. If you have an oily skin like I have and my foundation runs off by the end of the day, the primer really helps it to stick around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a primer. So now that I have my primer on, what I'm going to do is, I saw this on Buzzfeed, funny enough, <laughs> and I'm actually going to try it today. I'm going to put on a powder first before I put my foundation on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Revlon Colorstay setting powder, pressed powder, whatever. You should use a translucent powder for this, but because I have this and it's in a shade lighter than what I am, I'm gonna try and get away with doing it with this powder. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy, fluffy brush and just take some of this product and like put it on all over my face. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, matte poreless for normal and oily skin. I've done this in a previous video um, I'll link that one in the description. It's a full face of Maybelline. It's a really cool video So I'm gonna put this on right now and I'm using a flat foundation brush because this is quite a runny consistency And I feel like I get more control of applying this foundation when I use a flat foundation brush But you if you have any other foundation brush you can go in and try it that way I'm just gonna put a little dollop on and I'm gonna spread this on my face. My next step is going to be to use a buffing brush to buff. The next step, I'm gonna use a buffing brush to sort of buff all this in, make sure that all the lines are clean. And I don't use a beauty blender, I use a buffing brush. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. Okay, so now that I've buffed everything in and I've got clean lines and everything is spread across my face quite evenly, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat um, powder foundation. I use this as a setting, setting powder and I'm just going to use this to dab all over my face to make sure that I set before I do concealer. Okay, now that my skin has been set, I'm going to do some concealer and you guys know I love this concealer so much. It is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm gonna just put this onto my eyes. So I look pretty insane but what I do is I use my concealer as both a highlighter and a concealer so that's why I put it on the stick as well as on the bridge of my nose and I'm now just gonna dab that in. I put it over my eyelid as well because I don't use eye primer. So now when I want to do my eye makeup, my eye is primed. I'm sorry for the dog that is barking outside right now. Okay, 
and my last and final step in terms of making sure that my face is all foundation up and powdered up I'm gonna go in with my Sun Mineral Bronzer Packages. This is my bronzer and if I don't feel like contouring I would usually use this to bronze up my face so that's basically the final step in my foundation coverage kind of routine. And that is basically it in terms of foundation. What I use at the moment is not a full coverage foundation because I enjoy still seeing my marks and my scars, they make me me. So if I want a full coverage, I tend to use, oh sorry, the Rimmel Long Lasting Comfort, as you can see this bottle is nearly at its end. But this is a more full coverage, it's very buildable. But if you want a medium coverage, I do recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It is quite light, I don't even feel like I have makeup on right now because I did go in under and apply this Calistave, um, ooh, Calistave powder so that I didn't have to use as much foundation as what I usually would have and that is amazing because then it saves the product and I don't feel like I have too much product on my face. So this is basically what I look like without eyebrows and eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff. I have done a brow routine video already. You can check that one out. It's linked in the description. And I'm going to do another video that is going to come out really soon all about my go-to eyeshadow routine so that I can show you exactly what I do to get my everyday kind of eyeshadow kind of thing that I do. So please be on the lookout for that. <coughs> Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Whew. Don't know what's going on today make sure you subscribe to my channel click the bell so you know when new videos are up make sure that you give this video a like give it a share and i'll see you guys in the next one